Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, we call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us on to a better life so that we who celebrate the memory of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord, and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain, an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then having sent certain young men of the children of Israel to offer burnt offerings and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bulls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. God. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice Praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. Then call upon me in time of distress. I will rescue you. 
and you shall glorify me. of the world says the Lord whoever follows me will have the light of life The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just allow me to share with you what the Anawim way reflects upon the feast of today. But before that, we are friends of Jesus, isn't it? We are friends because we communicate, we converse, we have an intimate sharing between Jesus and ourselves personally and communally in our relationship with others. It means that if we have been praying, if we have been going to Mass every day or every Sunday, we have already developed that friendship. Oftentimes, we always say, he or she is my BFF, best friend forever. But there are times also that we betray that friendship. And because we develop this intimate sharing with God, we develop this interior life, this personal intimate sharing with God, taking time to be alone with Him frequently, wherever we are, whatever we are doing. The God who we know loves us then, it cannot be. But Jesus becomes our friend. And this happens to the life of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. 
they became friends of Jesus. And because they are friends of Jesus, they follow his will. And not only follow his will, but do what Jesus is teaching. So for us also, our life, as I kept on saying, is centered, rooted, and anchored in our deep, intimate relationship with God. Otherwise, what are we here for? Why do we pray? Just to ask? Or to develop this friendship, you know, with God? That God becomes our BFF. So today, the church honors the siblings Martha, Mary, and Lazarus of Bethany, who were close friends of Jesus. The memorial of St. Martha, July 29 today, was already on the church's liturgical calendar. On February 2, 2021, Pope Francis added to it Saints Mary and Lazarus. When Martha is first mentioned in the Gospel in Luke chapter 10, verse 30, 38, she is concerned about the details of hospitality. Sometimes later, she stands out as a woman of strong faith, announcing her firm conviction that Jesus is the Son of God in John chapter 11. After her brother Lazarus was raised from the dead, Martha's presence is noted by the simple statement, Martha served in John 12 verse 2. When we fir first see Mary, she is at the feet of Jesus and he commends her for choosing the better part. Later, just a few days before his death, Jesus visited their home and while he was there, Mary anointed his feet with precious perfume and wiped them with her hair. She may have had a premonition of his death. Mary was not afraid of what others thought as she wasted this costly oil. The scriptures do not have much about to say of Lazarus, but because Jesus raised him from the dead, many people began to believe that Jesus was the Son of God. By this miracle, he showed his disciples and the world that he had power even over death. The decree of the Congregation of Divine Worship and the discipline of the sacraments establishing this feast notes that the Lord Jesus experienced the family spirit and friendship of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. And as the Gospel of John states, Jesus loved him in John 11, verse 5. This decree also declares that the siblings offer an important evangelical witness in welcoming the Lord Jesus into their house. In listening to him attentively, in believing that he is the resurrection and the life. I hope, my dear friends, as we continue to celebrate this Eucharist, we will be more mindful 
of how important it is to ponder on the scripture, to ponder the readings of every day as we attend mass or we just read it and reflect on it with understanding in our homes. It's very important because from there, from the word of God, we encounter Jesus' life and mission itself. Otherwise, if we fail to ponder and understand the scriptures, the life and mission of Jesus, that we see concretely, we just, we just don't look at the readings or listen to the readings, hearing it, but not understanding. It's very important then for us, if truly we are friends, close friends of Jesus, if truly we come to him every day to ask him, we don't also fail to adore, to thank him for all the blessings that we receive, even in that moment that we call upon his name. So I hope that gently and slowly we will ponder and understand the life and mission of Jesus in the scriptures. Otherwise, we just hear it in our ears and it goes to the other ear. It is not seen in our actions nor heard in our words that truly Jesus is my BFF, my best friend forever. And I will strive to do His will, to obey His will, and to do His will in my daily relationship with my neighbor. Otherwise, it will be just like a clanging cymbal and an empty gong. Our saying, Lord, Lord, Lord. And it is not heard in our words, nor seen in our actions. Amen. Please stand. Jesus found welcome in the home of Martha, her sister Mary, and her brother Lazarus. On this feast of Saint Martha, let us ask the Lord for his friendship and his love. And let our response be, Lord, let us choose the better part. Lord, let us choose the better part. That like the home of Saint Martha, we may make our home a haven of peace where people can find a ready welcome. We pray. Lord, let us choose the better part. That we may serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters as Saint Martha served Jesus and his disciples. We pray. Lord, let us choose the better part. That we may not get caught by excessive activity so as to neglect the better part, which is to sit at Jesus' feet and listen to him as Mary did. We pray. Lord, let us choose the better part. That we may seek happiness in the presence of the Lord Jesus and the gift of his word and subordinate other things to the only things that matters. We pray. Lord, let us choose the better part that confronted with the death of our loved ones, we may believe with Saint Martha that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. We pray. Lord, Lord let us choose the better part. In silence, we pray for our own intentions. We pray. Lord, let us choose, choose the, the better, better part. part. Father, Jesus, your son, was pleased 
to be welcomed by Saint Martha in her home as a guest by welcoming our brothers and sisters in his name may we find welcome in your eternal abode in heaven amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God. By the mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the priests. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathered as one family, we now pray to the Father the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, Our Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life and those who deceive him. Amen.
For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen.